Do you know what that is, Pumba? Uh, that's Ned. You may see Ned, but I see nature's most perfect creation. The elephant. Just look at his trunk. It's like having a built-in shower on your face. And the birds, they ride around on Ned all day long like he's a bus. And don't forget about the magnificent yet stylish tusks. I've got tusks. Quiet, Plumba. I'm talking about Ned. You see that? Ned moved that giant log. Can you do that with your tusks? No. Precisely. No wonder everyone loves Ned, and he's the most popular guy in the jungle. Why can't we all be like him? You think everyone should be like an elephant? Pumba, is there some kind of thought buzzing around in that warthog skull of yours? I don't think so. Don't play coy. I know you, Pumba. Tomorrow at the crack of dawn, you're gonna come bouncing up all excited about becoming an elephant. No, Simone! I don't want to be an elephant! I'm perfectly happy being a warthog and would never ever want to be anything else. Come on, come on, guess what? I've just reached a major decision about my life. Oh? I decided to be an elephant. Did you know that elephants are nature's most perfect creation? Yes. I recall hearing that somewhere before. Oh, they're so big and large, and they got those long noses. I believe it's called a trunk. Yeah, yeah. And on hot days, I could spritz myself with refreshingly coolified water as I hang out with all the other elephants. Humba. And I could move big logs out of everyone's way. Humba. And everyone would love me. I'd be as popular as Hey, Pumba! Since when is being popular a good reason to do anything? Wait a minute. Popular? Pumba, I think you're on to something. I am. I'll say. Being popular is the best reason to do anything. If you become an elephant, everyone would love you. Then we can be part of Ned's clique. The in crowd, the movers, the shakers. I don't understand. That's all right, Bumba. Don't strain yourself. All that's important is that you want to be an elephant, and I'm going to help you do it. Great! Now, what do you think of when you think of an elephant? Ah, don't answer. I'll tell you. Size, Pumba, size! As you are now, you are too small to be an elephant. Darn. But no worries. I've got it all worked out. We increase your diet. By this, I mean that you eat a lot more. So much more that you become big and fat, like a big fat elephant. Gee, Timon, you are so smart! Thank you. Now open wide. Ah. Oh. Mm. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh. I think I'm gonna like being an elephant. You're not done yet. Open. Uh, mm. And again. Mm. And again. Come on. Yes, Pumba. I'm getting full. Pumba, we've only just begun. Look! Cheat Simone. Maybe being an elephant isn't such a good idea after all. Maybe I should just be happy being myself. Poppycock. What's more important, Pumba? Being yourself or being popular? That's right, being popular. If you say so. Now, uh, pay attention. Being an elephant, or a pachyderm, isn't just about size, it's also a state of mind. And elephants have the greatest mind. Elephants never forget. So, we're going to give you a memory that'll make every elephant, especially Ned, sit up and take notice. Are you following this? I sure am. Okay, good. Now, what did I just say? You said, okay, good. 
Before. Okay, good. I don't remember. Weren't you listening? I heard every word. But you don't remember. No. That's okay. I shouldn't expect miracles right off the bat. Bumba, do you even know what remembering is? Sure I do. It's not forgetting. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you think you could not forget what I'm about to say next? I don't know. Why not? Because you haven't said it yet. Mm. I mean, how can I not forget something you haven't even said yet? That would be like backwards not forgetting. I don't think I could backwards not forget. Oh, please, just try. Okay. I'm backwards not forgetting that you're about to say good job, Pumba. No. What? I really thought you were going to say uh, good job, Pumba. Pumba, Pumba, Pumba. You're supposed to wait until I say the thing I'm going to say and then remember it. Recall it in your brain. Retain it in your memory. This is making my head hurt. Not as much as mine. Now, see if you can remember this. My name is Pumba. I am an elephant. Okay. Your name is Pumba, and you are an elephant. <laughs> and that time you said, Arr! No. <laughs> yes, you did. I remember. Pumba, work with me here. I want you to remember something else. Okay, what? Uh, repeat after me. An elephant never forgets. Should I repeat it now? Yes. Uh, what was that again? An elephant never forgets. You don't have to shout. I do if I want anything to sink into that thick skull of yours. I'm beginning to see why you're not very popular, Timon. You're a grouch. <laughs> and you scream like a baby. Uh, let's just come back to the memory thing later, okay? What memory thing would that be? Good job, Pumba. Now we come to the final segment of your training. Soon you will be a full-fledged pachydermis africanus with all the benefits and privileges inherent to the species. And who are you going to share those benefits and privileges with? You, Timon! Good. Now, step up and receive your official elephant light trunk. Okay, uh, how's this? Uh, am I all set? Perfect. Hold still. One, two, three, go. Wow, that hurt. Hurt, Schmert, Pumba, we've done it. We've succeeded. You are not a warthog. You're an elephant. Man? Gee, I don't think I like this. What's not to like? I'll be the right-hand meerkat to the jungle's newest elephant. No. Boombafant! Even better and more popular than an elephant! Let's go show Ned. This is going to be great! Hey, what's the deal with the glum look? I don't want to do it, Simone! What? Pumba, no! Uh, listen, you're just nervous. Hey, everyone's nervous on their first day as an elephant. Don't worry. What are they gonna do? Make fun of you? Ridicule you to tears? Laugh and point? I'll be right there with you. I'll help you. You'll do fine. Well, okay, if you say so. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up and meet the new king of the jungle. That sophisticated of sophistry, the most popular of the popular crowd, the Pumba Fent. Pretty good, huh? The trunk, the bulk, he's got a memory too, of sorts. Have you ever seen such an obviously popular and valuable addition to your Ned the Elephant click? Hmm, that is without a doubt the most rid... thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Those aren't ears. They're palm fronds. And you call that a trunk? 
<laughs> and the suggestion that this overfed hog even comes close to approximating my majestic bulk is not only absurd, it's insulting. Come, my comrades. Let us enjoy a short moment of laughing and pointing at this comically pitiful display of low self-esteem. <laughs> 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 Well, isn't this a pleasant twist? Out of the way, Whoa! Tom! We gotta save him! Pumba, have you gone haywire? Let him fall! He'll land on the hippos! Quiet, Tom! Ned, grab on to my tusks! Oh, I don't know. I mean, after all, you're... you're so unpopular. Uh, hurry, Ned! The branch is breaking! Uh, well, uh, uh, what do you fellows think? Grab the tusk. Grab the tusk. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> how utterly clumsy of me. I say, a good show, Warthog. Oh, uh, you're welcome. In fact, now that you've proven yourself worthy, you can join our group as an honorary elephant. What do you say? No, thanks. No? Good thinking, Pumba. Hold out for better benefits. Make them make you king, and me vice king with a window office. Nope. I'm happy being exactly who I am, a normal old warthog. Oh, wait! Pumba, wait! Let's think this over. I mean, what about me? What about all our hard work? Come on, Pumba! Truly amazing, Timon! I couldn't find any grubs on this mountain anywhere, nowhere, and yet you found a whole bucket full of them! Yes, I am truly amazing. You are unmistakably the most awesome and bestest best grub catcher in the whole wide world! I don't know how you do it! Oh, I've got my ways. <laughs> You stole my baby's breakfast! You're breakfast-stealing weasel! Hey, lady, relax! I was giving my baby all his flying lessons. The poor kid still doesn't know how to fly. But anyway, when we got back to the nest, all of his grubs were gone! But, ma'am, Timon would never, ever, never take grubs from a baby. And what makes you so sure? Because he's the bestest, best grub catcher in the whole wide world! Right, Timon? That's right. And frankly, I've had enough of your slanderous remarks and unfounded accusations. I mean, you just can't go around accusing people of stealing food from a baby. You need proof. I have hair samples, a plaster foot impression, fingerprints from Baby Earl's bowl, and a list of witnesses willing to testify. This stuff doesn't mean anything. Plus, you dropped your wallet. Yeah, so? And I have this time-coded photo of you taken by a security camera. You could. Tomorrow, I can't believe you stole those grubs from a baby. Do you have any idea how hard it is to gather food way up here? Extremely difficult. You should be ashamed of yourself. Absolutely ashamed. It'll take me all day to fly to the lowlands and gather more food. All day long. Baby Earl while I'm away. 
Yeah! Who's gonna babysit Earl? Oh, double crud. Sweet little Earl here still hasn't learned how to fly. So I'll let him go leaping over the edge of the nest! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No leaping, eh? And if anything happens to him, one single scratch, I will hunt you down like the grump daily weasel you are and crush you! <laughs> now, darling, Mommy will be back just as quick as she can, so you be a real good boy for the grub thief. Mm. Now watch him! Goodbye. Don't worry, Mama. Baby Earl will be fine. Bye-bye. So long. I'll be the same. Farewell. Come on, let's go. What? Let's skittily daddle before Mommy gets back. But, Damone, you promised to babysit Baby Earl, and that means you need to play a game with him and read a book to him and tuck him into bed for his afternoon nap. <sighs> yeah, 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 okay. If I do all those things, then can we leave with a clear conscience? Uh, I guess so. All right, wait right here. All right, Baby Earl, let's see what you got. You lose. Once upon a time, there were three bears. A papa bear, a mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. The end! <laughs> Rock a bye early in the treetops, when the wind blows, etc., and so on. Okay, let's hit the road. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for, an invitation? Hey, I don't think that was a very good job at babysitting, Timon. I did everything you said, Pumbaa. Besides, Baby Earl will be just fine. He's fast asleep, see? <laughs> Don't you never, ever do that again, Baby Earl. Do you understand? Ah, baby Earl! I thought I told you to never, ever do that again. Didn't you hear me? Baby Earl! Yeah, fine! Whew. You know, if the baby falls out of the nest, he's gonna get scratched. And if he gets scratched, you're gonna get crushed! I know, I know. So, I think maybe we're gonna have to stay and watch him and babysit him, just like we promised. Uh, no, we're not, Boomba. I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Reverse psychology. What's that? It just happens to be a way of getting someone to do what you want them to do by asking them to do the exact opposite of what you want them to do. Good luck. Oh, baby Earl. I really, really want you to leap out of the nest. See, it worked. <laughs>
There he is! Oh, baby Earl's headed toward that gap! What do we do? What do we do? Quick, make like a bridge! There's not a scratch on him. Baby Earl! Oh, what do we do this time? We're not doing nothing. What, Jamon? Jamon! Don't you fret, Pomba. He's a bird, right? And any second, his natural bird-like instincts will kick into action, and Baby Earl will fly. Yes, any second now, the breeze will catch Baby Earl's wings, and he will soar into the clouds. Yes, any second now, the flying and the soaring. Any second. Was he supposed to fly straight into the ground, Timon? Uh, no, Pumba. <clears throat> he wasn't. So what are you going to tell Mommy? Pumba. By the time that loudmouth bird is back, we'll have flown the coop. Where's my baby Earl? Uh, well, you are. Uh... I said, where's my baby Earl? Uh, tell her, Pumba. What do you want me to tell her? Anything. Tell her anything. Uh, your baby Earl left out of the nest, fell thousands of feet, and hit the ground with a muffled thump sort of sound. <laughs> Anything but that, Pumba. I warned you what would happen if my baby Earl got scratched. <gasps> baby Earl, you're flying. Huh? You two taught my baby Earl how to fly. Oh, this is the most wonderful day of my fine feathered life. How can I ever repay you? Well, actually... That one's for you. <laughs> and one for you. <laughs> and one for you. <laughs> <laughs>